All right. So we've got the tail section here. I want you to take notice here. There is a carbon rod on each side. This is stationary already. We got the elevator servos pre-mounted here, one on each side. And uh, the elevator here, you're going to have a ball end on it on the uh, control horn here. Okay, uh, there's a little ball end on it. You can take a look here. It's uh, nice and tight on there. You can make sure it's tight. They're always tight pretty much. So you're ready to go. You want to notice that this is there's a hole here, but the hole is a little bit covered up by some residual foam. And what you're going to do is get your little driver that's included, find the center of this. You'll feel it. It's kind of soft there. And just poke a hole through it. Okay? And that is what your main elevators are going to go rotating on. Okay? So just go ahead and pop the hole in there. And you can kind of work it around in a circle here and just make it nice and loose. And that's it right there. Okay? And this hole here. This larger hole here is where the elevator collar will go. That's going to hold your elevator stationary in place. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set that down. Okay, this is your elevator collar. Okay, it's a little silver ring thing here. It's got a uh, machine hole on one side for a machine screw. That's that little screw down that we're going to put in there. Okay, take note also, this collar is flanged. Okay, there's an outward flange on one side. Okay, one side's completely flat, one side's got a little bevel flange on it. And that's the side you want it to have against the elevator up against this rod. I'll show you guys once we get there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put that little screw there we had put aside earlier, little machine screw, right into that little collar, little hole there. Okay. Once you've got that done, it's real simple here. Okay. We get the elevator that you have a already made a hole in if that hole is wasn't there to begin with and we're just going to go ahead and insert this into this carbon rod right here there you go you'll find that it goes right on there i'm going to press it straight down and all the way in okay all the way in and you'll see that it is pretty much flush up against the fuselage there's a little bit of rubbing it's okay you can actually adjust this this gap distance here by that little collar there all right Okay, once this is in this position here, we're going to go ahead and flip the aircraft over here. Once more, put my little trusty foam piece down. Keep my beautiful F-14 from any kind of dents and stuff like that. Okay, so we have it here now. And that hole I was telling you about earlier, the wider gap area here, it is real simple here. The collar that you had just put that little machine screw on, with the side that's got that outward bevel, that's the side you want it up towards the fuselage. So you want this bevel piece up against the elevator on the fuselage side. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna insert this. Let's see here, we got a little bit of foam in here. There you go, get that foam out. Make sure those thing protruding out of there. And we're gonna slide the elevator out just enough this way so that you can't see the carbon rod in this hole anymore, so the rod can be inserted onto the uh, collar to hold it down. So we're going to drop it in there. Okay, You can drop it in there and just let it sit there. Get it about position with your little screwdriver and then press the elevator back down. There you go. And you'll see that this little collar will be now on, on the little carbon shaft. Okay. Once it's on there, Use your little screwdriver and just go ahead and press this collar into place up against the elevator as far as it'll go here, as long as there's no binding over there. And you're going to tighten down the screw here. And this one right here, there's a little bit of binding, so I'm going to back off the collar just a bit here. Okay, so you can actually just back off the collar by pulling the elevator towards you and then tightening it down. And then you'll notice that it has perfect play in it. Okay, let's go ahead and do this a little bit there. Now it's got perfect gap, perfect play. And tighten this screw down. Don't go crazy on it. Just, just hand tighten it because it is going into a carbon rod. Okay, so over tightening, it's going to split that carbon rod. So you notice that it's got a little bit of play in it, and that's perfectly fine. That's perfect. It's nice and loose. So we're going to go ahead and do this same thing to the opposite side. Okay, now that we have our elevators already installed onto the elevator shafts here, we're going to go ahead and set up the elevator control throw, control surface here. Okay, what I like to do here is make sure that the servos are centered before we go ahead and actually install the uh, elevator push rods here, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to turn on our transmitter and we're going to plug in the battery to the 
aircraft here. Make sure the throttle stick is all the way down and make sure the throttle trim is all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and plug her in. All right, so we have an initializing beep and we're set here. And what we're gonna do here is I'm moving the servo for the elevator. And what I always like to do as a pointer is I always like to just make sure that the little elevator screws here are tight enough. Okay, they're pretty good there. Now what we do is you got your elevator push rod, which is the metal push rod with a little ball end on it. Okay, we're going to insert the Z bent side. The Z bent side goes into the servo horn. And on the servo horn, you have a choice of three holes. One, two, three. That is personal preference as in which hole you'd like to use. I always like to use the outer hole and then adjust my control th uh, throws from there. So we're gonna go ahead and insert this to the outer hole. If it's a little snug, it's okay. Just go ahead and press it in there and twist and it goes right in. Once it hits the Z-bend side, we're gonna bend it right on down. Okay. Pat it a little bit tighter here. There we go. Okay, so once that, once that is in there nice and tight, what we're gonna do here is now we're going to adjust the length of this push rod to this little ball end that's right there okay and right now if you notice if i put that there we're going to turn the ball in first and make make sure that it's level okay before i go on there i want to you guys to actually take a look at the ball the ball connector here that's called a ball connector if you look at the ball connector extremely carefully one side of the ball connector is one side of the ball connector has a wider diameter than the other side. That wider diameter side is the side that you're going to want to press onto the elevator ball. Okay, so now we're going to just kind of a rough idea of where that's sitting. And it's kind of um, got a down elevator here. So make sure that your trim, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, make sure the trim on your radio here, everything is in the neutral position. Okay, you got your, you got your elevator trim here in the center. You got your rudder trim, steering nose wheel trim, um, I'm sorry, aileron trim on this side in the center as well. And everything's centered except for your throttle trim. That one's all the way down. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we are going to loosen this a little bit and put this onto the ball end here with the bigger side to the ball. And you can kind of eyeball it just for now and get that elevator kind of level and just uh, and uh, leave it there for now. So right there, we'll call that about good. And we're gonna press the ball in, just press with your fingers, okay? And it pops right on, and that's all you gotta do. And that's one side, and now we have elevator service control, which is sweet. We're gonna go ahead and do that to the same thing on the other side. Okay, so with that done, we're gonna call the elevator section pretty much complete here. Elevators are done. We have it connected and we got back on the stick here, back and forth on the stick, we have your elevator controls. So that completes the installation of your elevators. And we're gonna do some fine tuning a little bit later on. So now we move on to the next section on the manual, which puts us to basically installing the vertical stabilizers. And this build is pretty much complete. Extremely easy here. We're gonna go ahead and unplug the battery from the aircraft and shut the transmitter off and flip her over here. Yeah, as you can see here, the twin 20 amp brushless ESCs are right here, and it's all thinned in here, so the cooling is awesome. It's nice and cool down there. All right, all that airflow going over there, and keep it nice and cool. Okay, so we've got this gorgeous F14 flipped over for you here. We're gonna go ahead and glue the tail section, which is pretty much real easy, self-explanatory. Get your paper plate, a magazine, a piece of paper, a folder, or you know anything like that, and start gluing. And basically, what's included is your two-part epoxy glue, okay? This glue is called epoxy. You see that there's an A and a B. This glue is to be mixed in equal amounts, okay? And you got a curing time on this glue, probably about five to five minutes, it's gonna start curing on you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna puncture it and we're going to squeeze equal dollops of epoxy onto your little mixing plate here and get mixing. So let's go ahead and do that now.